Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith with Piece of Cake and I've brought the camera outside because the light will be better to show you how to tie a knot to end off your applique. So here we go. I've stitched all the way around this shape and I'm on my last stitch. What I'm going to do is take the thread to the back of the applique block. I'm going to pull it all the way back. Then I'm going to turn the block over and I want to do my ending knot underneath the applique. So for instance, I'm not, not going to do it out here because then you'd see it on the um, front side of the work. So I'm going to go <clears throat> near my last stitch, very near to those stitches and I'm going to catch a little bit of the background fabric just like that underneath the applique. Now I've pulled my thread to the left, I'm right handed, I'm going to come again through that same little anchor stitch and I'm going to pull the thread again to the left and see how it forms a loop? I'm going to take the needle and the thread through the loop pull it down tight, it'll, it'll sink right next to the edge of the fabric. Then to finish this, I'm going to run the needle between the background and the applique fabric, quarter of an inch to a half an inch, something like that. Then I'm going to pull the thread through there and I'm going to take my scissors and cut that and that way the back of my applique is always very tidy. In fact, I can show you on another block where I've sewn several pieces. If you look, none of the tails of thread from either the beginning stitch or the ending stitch show on the front. And there you go. That is exactly how you do the quilter's ending knot, the piece of cake way. Happy stitching.